Please support council. Monday I stood in front of you and I told you that we would prove this case by witness testimony. We would prove this case by forensic evidence. And we would prove this case by simple, plain common sense. The council just stood before you and said that there's nothing I can say that he can't respond to. I think there is something I can say. Monday, I told you, you were going to hear a phone call. You're going to hear this defendant and his girlfriend on the phone the day he hit the Dallas County Jail. And I told you there are two passages in that phone call I wanted you to pay attention to. And you heard them yesterday. This man is talking to his girlfriend, and she's asked him, why didn't you get rid of the gun? Quote, why? Didn't you get rid of the gun? And what does he say? I've just been stupid. Then seconds later, the same conversation. If you shot that lady, you should have got rid of that gun. His response? Quote, I know. I know. That by itself lets you know that this man is the shooter. I could sit down right now on that alone, and that lets you know that this man is the man that walked up to Dr. Kendra Hatcher and shot her in the back of the head. But there's more to it than that. You know that he's part of the plan. The evidence in front of you is that they meet in the middle of August in approximately a two-week time span. There are 111 texts or calls from him to Crystal Cortez. 111. Crystal calls and texts to him, 49. 111 to 49. Who seems to be the person eager to do this deal? That man right there. You know he's part of the planning because the cell phone records let us know that. You can see on the map. You can see all the times they are together. You can see where they are together. Now, this is supposed to have been originally a purse statue. Do you really need to follow someone every day for two days a week to snatch a purse? It's ridiculous. His story is ridiculous. His version of the shooting makes no sense. And the reason you know it makes no sense is this. On that, on that video from the garage, you see that Jeep start to back out. Before that Jeep is fully backed out, this man is already at the Jeep getting back in. But more importantly, when it finally does back out and heads down that ramp and is going the wrong way, you see a Suburban come down that ramp right behind it. And you can follow the taillights of that Jeep. You, more importantly, you can follow the taillights of that Suburban and see the taillights of that Suburban that's behind the Jeep. They never, they never stop. They continue to go down that ramp. The other reason you know his story is ridiculous If things had occurred in the manner and means that he tries to tell you, we'd have another, we'd have an eyewitness to the offense. Because that suburban would have to have stopped because the Jeep's in front of it. And that driver would have been an eyewitness to the acts that he's trying to attribute to Crystal Cortez. His story makes no sense. We know. Kendra Hatcher is killed by a 40 caliber handgun. We know in the well of her passenger, front seat of her passenger car, is a casing from a 40 caliber handgun. We know from the forensic evidence that when that shell casing comes out, it goes up and to the right. We also know if you take a look in the photographs, of the pictures of her car and the height of that Toyota. If the gun was positioned like this, 
fire up to the right, that shell casing would have gone over the roof of that car. If the gun is pointed like this, and Dr. Hatcher is hands cowering, screaming for help, bullet fired here, shell casing up to the right and to the well of that passenger seat. This story is ridiculous. Robert? Dr. Hatcher, well, the one thing I hope that all of y'all have seen these several days that we've been here, I hope you've come to appreciate the horrific nature of this offense. There's no reason in the world that Dr. Hatcher should be dead. She wasn't in 7-Eleven and somebody whacked out on drugs, walked in, and robbed the place and started shooting everybody. She wasn't walking down the street and gangbangers shooting at each other, and she catches a stray bullet. She was the victim of domestic violence. She's dead for a really stupid and disgusting reason, and that man participated in it. You don't have to like Crystal Cortez. We've sat down with Crystal Cortez, and we have told her face to face how disgusted we are with her actions. And you don't need to concern yourselves with the doings of Brenda Delgado. Brenda will have her day in court. I guarantee you that. This was not a robbery. Stakes Exhibit 235. This is how you don't lose a robbery. Look at the placement of that. That's not an accidental shooting. That's not a shooting from afar. If it was from afar, there's no gunshot residue in Dr. Hatcher's hands. Folks, this is not robbery. This was an execution. And that's the man that pulled the trigger. 